What would the Dakar be without PSA? The Peugeot Citroën Group takes part in its first Dakar in 1987 and has since then had much success. The group has often used the African race to test its new prototypes. We focus on its different strategies. Peugeot arrives on the Dakar in 1987 as sporting director Jean Todd is looking for a new challenge after the Rally World Championship. With three cars registered for the race, Peugeot wins 10 out of 19 special stages, with the 205 T16 model proving to be one of the fastest around. Harry Vatanen makes the most of it and claims the final win. The following year, Peugeot registered four teams on board 205s and 405s as Vatanen gets off to a flying start before getting expelled by the race commissioners. His countryman and two-time rally world champion Juha Kankunen finally claims the win. In 89, Ari Vatanen comes inches close to giving up in the prologue in Barcelona, but decides to continue and will battle it out with his teammate Jackie Ix for the final win. To avoid any accident, Jean Todt decides to flip a coin to see who will go on to win the Dakar. And fate decides to give the Finn with a second title. Peugeot will take part in the Dakar one last time in 1990, securing a fourth consecutive win through Ari Vatanen once again and claiming the treble. Citroën then takes charge the following year, under the helm of Guy Frecklin and Jean Todd, benefiting from Peugeot's experience, as both teams belong to the PSA group. But the rally starts in awful fashion, with Valdegard and Eeks being forced to quit due to fire. Fortunately, Vatanen is still here and gifts his Citroën ZX its first win on the Dakar. But the Paris Cape Town race in 1992 proves to be disappointing for Citroën, as all four drivers, hindered by mechanical problems, finish behind the three Mitsubishis. History repeats itself the following year, despite title holder Hubert Oriol's arrival in the team. Mitsubishi secures the title again. Dig for crying out loud, dig! But the car's all right. But the French team gets back to winning ways from 1994 onwards, as Pierre Lartigue and Michel Perrin will prove to be unbeatable, thanks to technical changes brought to their ZX. The duo will claim three consecutive titles, while Vatanen will suffer from his own mistakes. But Perrin and Lartigue's winning streak comes to an end in 96, as a change of rules forbids prototypes such as the ZX to compete in the Dakar. <laughs> 